Hi there, welcome back to channel. Now, I really wish we could film these pizza videos in the daytime because it would be so much better. You see how good they're going to be, but oh well, what can we do? It's night time, it's winter, it's almost Christmas. So what we're going to make is a tomato and cheese pizza, but with a little twist because we're putting some homemade pesto on it as well. So the, the homemade pesto is actually, the recipe's actually on the channel. You should try that out. On the actual recipe in the channel, there's, there's, it uses three garlic cloves, but for this one, because I found that a little bit strong sometimes, I decided to use two. But knock yourself out, whatever you like. If you like loads of garlic, add three. If you don't, add one. But just make sure you add some, though, because it does taste nice. Anyway, I'll stop rabbiting on about garlic, and I'll put the tomato on this New York-style base. I'm making a 12-inch. Uh, I'm going to put mozzarella. I've got some, uh, I've got some sort of pre-grating mozzarella, so I'm just going to chuck a little bit of that in the bottom, not a lot. And then I'm going to put some. What am I going to put next? I'm going to put some fresh cordellati mozzarella because uh, I do like this. So we we'll just sprinkle a bit over. This is Napoli cut, I think they call it. Don't know why it's called Napoli cut. Maybe it's because how they cut it like in Napoli. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? That's probably enough cheese. Right, and then we're just going to blob the pesto around the pizza. Like that. And then it will just end up spreading around. So we'll put a wee blob there, a wee blob there and a wee blob in the middle, like that, and then uh, we're debating about the pine nuts, we've got some pine nuts, so do we want to sprinkle them on before or after, do you reckon? What do you think, Lisa? Cook that a bit, then sprinkle the pine nuts on. Right, compromise, see? That sounds like a good team. Right, that's going to go in, so let's go. Okay, so the flames went down a bit, but that's okay. We'll just put a pizza in and it and it'll cook quite nicely actually because the oven four is absolutely roasting. So it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so we're gonna just sprinkle some pine nuts on the top for effect now. Now that everything's melted a little bit. And then we're just gonna finish the pizza off. It's almost done as you can see, but we just need to kind of cook the rest of the edges really. Won't take long. And we're done. Look at that. That looks really nice. That looks absolutely brilliant. Right, shall we gun the light and have a look? Because it's a bit dark to see out here. So let's gun the light and we'll have a wee look and a wee taste. Okay, so there we go. It looks absolutely amazing. It looks really, really nice. You can see the pesto sort of melted on the pizza. You can see the Gosney. Let me turn it around the right way. You can see the Gosney pizza server, which is really cool. Actually, it's a really nice size. So this will be great for American style pizzas because it's 14 inch. So we'll be able to cut them really nice on this. So it looks really nice served on it. So yeah, quite impressed with this. This is a really nice looking pizza. The bottom's cooked absolutely lovely. Uh, it smells amazing too. It's got a nice crisp to it. So I'm quite impressed. Right, let me just take a wee bit as usual and then we'll taste it. I believe that Gosney pizza server is about uh, £30. Mm. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, that's tasty. You've got a really nice dough as well. It's hopefully, a, if you can see it, that is. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. It's really nice, isn't it? Mmm. It's soft. It's crunchy. It tastes really nice. So, yeah, make sure you've got to try that. Try my homemade pesto. It's really nice. 
Try it with tomato and cheese on pizza. Brilliant. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.